I showed this shaft being drilled on the Banggood drill review I did the other night. Uh, that was the original shaft, badly bent. New one, nice and straight, in a bit better quality material. All I need to do now to finish the job is make some bushes, plastic bushes that go onto it. I've got a bit of suitable material there. So we'll make, I think it's four bushes he wants. We'll go from there. I've got a tool here that's got a very steep chip breaker on it. It's designed for cutting aluminium and breaking the chips in aluminium. It should work out quite nicely on this horrible stuff. You tend to get nasty stringy ribbons coming off this stuff. Not pleasant at all. Turn it down to the, the OD first, bore the hole and just part each one off and turn. A 30mm bush isn't that's 40mm bar. Four five mil off to the side. There's four. It is actually breaking the chip. That's a lot better than normally. Then it comes off. Go on. I'm not quite sure what sort of plastic this is. It's the sort of plastic that somebody gives you and you just use it. I put some white nail on. And it's nail on 66. But the lad did say this was good for, for bushes. Need to know what a whole put up through it. Gotta be careful that you keep the, the swarf moving, otherwise it will melt and jam the job up. This is the piece of bar I cut off before and that's going to be a nice fit in there a little bit tight if anything right, The bushes are 20 mil diameter and 20 mil long so we can Machine them next. Use the general roof on the top one. Touch it off. Five mil cut, take ten off it.
sure I used to be 4.5 which is there Eighty eight, eighty eight, eighty across. Ninety three across a point, and you had a hundred to play with, so it's going to work out pretty good. I'm limited for space, so all I've done is put a, a couple of buttons across the table. Put a sheet of steel and on the top of a sheet of wood and I can weld on here quite merrily.
next one I just weld on the old side. It doesn't need welding all the way through like that. It's quite a nice. formidable thing. Rub out with a floppy wheel and we'll be good to go up. Bastard. Not too shabby for a mechanic that pisses about, is it? I think we could be witnessing the death of a die grinder. That's it. The death of a cheap angle grinder, or rather the death of a cheap die grinder. We'll take it back and see how good that, that warranty is. My favourite die grinder, my Banggood ones to say that the die, it worked when you jiggled the wires. So I've removed the back and it's obvious the fault. It's got a broken wire. The wire, the wire's shite, it's obviously... So I'll put a bit of new flex on there and it'll work again. A lot of people are just throwing that away. It's a simple broken wire, dead straight forward. I was expecting to see it broken here where it pivots, not halfway down the wire. And I've got a, a big length of the yellow stuff off the uh, grass cutters, I'll repair it with a bit of that. so it doesn't need to be functional on the bottom, just four legs. I've got one magnet clamp on there to hold it square that way. I can see it leaning back, so I'll put a tack on this corner 
and I can square it up. Just corner here now. And that stops it moving that way. I want to clamp on there, magnetic clamp at 90 degrees. But I'm just going to check it with me square, and it is absolutely spot on. Spot on ish. Right, so these two back corners and weld it out. You can actually use the tack welds to pull it. If you want it to come this way, you put some weld on there and it will bring it across. Right, I can't see them going anywhere in a hurry. There's some shims there just so you can level it up when it's in its final resting place, but it certainly looks looks the part. I've got a small I want to do which will all be seen and I think I'll take well that one together to make it look the part. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please click the button, it does make a big difference. And as always, a massive thanks for all the welders that are coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.